In this final lecture on scanning the external environment to understand where one sits strategically, that is situational awareness with respect to the external world, we'll talk about the key success factors that you can think about that say that you could then process as a management team to determine how you are going to succeed in your business strategy. Just to recap a little bit, we've talked about the external environment more generally, what's out there. We've talked about that in the framework of Porter's Five Forces model with supplier power and buyer power and new entrants, uh, substitutes potentially, and also rivalry in the industry. We look more deeply about rivalry in the industry from the perspective of this of the uh, of the group mapping, and you see where people tend to migrate into groups and compete along certain dimensions. We've identified those dimensions and what they are and how they work and how one thinks about competing in a certain geography or with certain price or quality or whatever. From that, you say, where we are as a firm competing in this external environment, relatively complex external environment, what are our key success factors? The KSFs are often called. They're the elements of our product and service that operational approaches, capabilities, whatever it may be, our proprietary operation. For Apple, it's generally innovation, coming up with the latest new idea. Uh, for uh, Kmart, it's or, excuse me, Walmart, it's low prices all the time. Um, you have uh, Amazon is doing it on logistics. There's all these various ways that you can think about what key success factors are out there. And these would vary by industry, so you want to be really thinking about all the other analysis that was done and then how that boils down to what these key things are that will inform our discussion going forward. What are these key success factors? How do we identify them? Generally, we look at the product attributes, so we price quality, is that the sort of thing we're competing against? Where are we on the map? What are our competitors doing? How do we succeed if we're Walmart? How do we succeed against Kmart or Sears or Target or anyone else that is competing along that same dimension for us? Or if, it's, if it has to do with some proprietary technology, how do we compete with someone else who might have a rival technology? If we're an Android phone, how do we compete vis-a-vis -vis the Apple phone with a different kind of technology? How, does that, how do our brands interact? What resources or capabilities might we, what would be required to sustain ourselves and to succeed in this marketplace? How does that play into, into the organization? Have to be logistically powerful. Amazon has got this growing logistics prowess. They're doing a drone delivery. So someone else who perceives them to be a competitor like Google starts drone delivery processes. Uh, and so you don't have to have a human uh, interaction and you could get things to people relatively quickly. These uh, sorts of factors that you start to see are succeeding in the ecosystem in the same marketplace where you're, you're trying to compete. And what do you see as weaknesses in these firms as well as they go after these kinds of marketplaces? Once you've developed this a notion of these, these key success factors, you think about the industry overall, make sure that it's clear that you want to continue to compete in that industry going forward. Remember, this is still the external environment. You think about, is the growth still there? Are, this, are these forces too strong? What's the, if, if you have strong new entrants and substitutes and the suppliers are strong and the buyers are strong, there's very few buyers, very few suppliers, this is difficult to compete. You have drivers of change, the technology is changing quickly, whatever, demographics are changing, it makes it very difficult, and the firms in there are very strong, right? This competition is difficult. Um, then you start to be thinking about the industry, but of course there are industries that do have promise, and so you look for potential strategies that might be able to deliver some new value with these key driving key success factors, the ways that one succeeds in the business place. What you're still doing in the marketplace, you're still thinking about the environment and you're thinking about what it takes to succeed in that environment. It's like thinking about a race. You're trying to win a, a race. You look about, you watch the people that are in the race. Say it's a horse race. The horse is in the race. You have some that are fast at the beginning, some that are fast in the end. 
you strategically determine what it will take to win the Kentucky Derby by a horse. You're figuring out what it takes to win in the market. That's the external environment. Next set of the next um, module that we'll talk about is, is taking the understanding of what it takes to succeed externally in the ecosystem and then looking inside and determining what resources I need and what capabilities I have, what capabilities I, I need to get or build, what resources I need to get access to, like intellectual property, inventions, access to energy, whatever, how I need to put all that into place to understand how I can put some initiatives together to find these key success factors, perfect them, and then succeed in the ecosystem. So that's the part we'll talk about next when we talk about the internal success factors, enhancing our situational awareness of our internal resources and capabilities. That's what we'll talk about in the next module. But we'll conclude this external environment keeping in mind that what we're trying to understand is where all the players are, using these models that we've developed, the language and communicating with others in a language that talks about the five forces model, strategic groups, key success factors, so that we all can talk in the same language about what it's going to take for our organization to succeed strategically going forward. We'll see you in the next module.